All right, now let's go to My Files application on Samsung Galaxy phone. Let me tap on this three dot button here and go to settings. Now you see all the way down, we've got a brand new option here called My Files Labs. It says this is only for internal test. The function in labs are not official and can be disappeared. Now this is a hidden feature which has to be enabled and that is possible only if you have the latest version of the My Files application. Before I show you how to enable this, let's look at all the features that we have on My Files Labs. Uh, but even before that, if you're interested in this particular wallpaper which is on my home screen, you can check out the link in the description of this video. You will be able to download the wallpaper and every video that I've post will have a brand new wallpaper paper go ahead check it out if you like them do download it and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel now uh, let's go to the my files application let's open my files labs this unlocks a whole bunch of new features on my files application you see on the top we have got an option to permanently delete it says it will show the permanently delete option in the delete dialog now let me enable this and show you how this works. Now let's say I am uh, deleting a particular uh, file here. Let me press and hold on this file and tap on delete. We have got a new option here, permanently delete this particular file. Now this option is very useful because when we select and delete the file permanently, the file will not go to the recycle bin. We don't really have to go to recycle bin and again uh, delete those files permanently. That's uh, two different steps. Uh, so with this feature, we can permanently delete the file. Just select permanently delete option and delete the file. It will uh, delete the file permanently. Now let's go back. Let's again go to the uh, labs here. The second option is data history. To use this, you need to grant the uh, usage data access permission. This allows us to make a report which apps are occupying the storage much. So when I uh, tap on this, you see it gives me a graphical representation of the files that I have on the phone. We have got a pie chart here which shows uh, the data here you see. Uh, it shows uh, images in red color, 3.96 GB of images I've got. Likewise, we have video, audio, documents, installation files, and compressed files. And at the bottom, you can also see the added data for today. We also have an option to shift to apps here. Let me tap on apps tab. You see, we have got uh, a studio which is occupying 8.89 GB of space. Battleground India, which is nothing but PUBG, is occupying uh, 7.48 GB of space. We have got Asphalt 9, which is uh, 2. Sorry, which is 3.3 GB of space. YouTube is occupying 2.7 GB of space. Google 1.23 and uh, speech recognition is occupying 1.05 GB of space. This graphical representation depicts which applications are using the maximum storage on your device. Now this is going to be very helpful. We'll be able to see the exact uh, storage utilization by the applications and by uh, other files and documents easily through this uh, representation. Now let's go back. The next option we have is file operation history. When you tap on that you will see the file operation list that you have done in my files application uh, you see we have got the file uh, name here and uh, what we have done with that file is showing up right here it says copy 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 then we have got create folder I have compressed a file here so basically this will show us the operations that you have done on my files application now let's go back for some reason, the back button is not working on uh, this particular app, this version of the My Files app. Uh, let me use the back gesture here. The next option we have got is media files in pending status. Let me tap on this. You see, we have got a list of files which are in pending status. Uh, this may not be that useful for all of us. Now let's uh, tap on organize files of edited image video files. Now let me tap on this. Now this is showing me the 80 invisible backups. It says reclaim space by deleting the invisible backups used to let you revert edited pictures and videos back to their original versions. Which means whenever we edit a file, it may be an image file or a video file, the phone will keep a copy of or a backup of that particular Particular edited picture or edited videos which helps us to revert back to its original condition after editing those images or videos now if you don't want them to be there on the phone if you don't want those backup to be available on the phone you can select them here one by one and delete those backups which are actually invisible to us but still occupying the space on the phone so this option will help us to uh, reclaim the memory by deleting those backups pretty good isn't it now let's go back the last option we have got is reorganize folders it says this will tidy up the folders that has over 100 items it will reduce the time of finding the file now what this does is if a folder has more than 100 items it will reorganize that particular folder so that it is easy to find a particular file inside that folder 
Now let me disable this and go back and open a particular folder here. Let's find a folder which has more than 100 items. Uh, let's tap on pictures. You see more than 500 items we have in this particular folder. Now this is the sequence of these folders. You see we got 4K wallpapers, Compass Pro, CRISPR, Instagram Messenger, and then we have got all these uh, images here which are as per the alphabetical order. Now what we will do is we will go back and uh, go to the labs. Now here let's enable reorganize folders. Now let's go back to the same folder again and let's see what has happened there. Now when I tap on the same folder and open it, it says trying to tidy up the folder for finding items better. Now maybe it is still working on this, uh, we'll be able to easily uh, spot the files that we are looking for. I'm not sure how this is going to work, it is still showing me uh, the files in alphabetical order. Uh, if at all I find any changes, uh, I will let you know guys in the future video. Now these are some fantastic features which are going to be really useful on the My Files Labs option inside the My Files application on Samsung Galaxy phone. Now how do we enable this feature? on my files application now let me show you the latest version that i've got here on my files application you see the version number is 15.0.04.5 now this version may not be available on your phone currently because uh, the latest version has not arrived yet at least in my region i don't see this latest feature 15.0.04.5 let me show you the version number on the s23 ultra i have here Let's go to the apps. Let me press and hold on this and tap on this I button here. Now you see the version number is 15.0.03.27. This is the older version of the uh, My Files application and uh, 04.5 is the newer version of the My Files application. Unless we get the update, we will not be able to enable this feature on the phone. So what you need to do is you need to download the latest APK from APK Mirror or any other reliable sources and then install that uh, version of My Files app. You will be able to enable the labs feature on my files now let me show you how to install this let's open the browser here now here i'll search for samsung my files apk you see the top result uh, in apk mirror website you will be able to download the latest version just open the website here now you will see the latest versions available right here you see on the top on april 8th this latest version was released uh, just ignore this green patch which you're seeing here on the screen. This is a physical damage. I have already uh, mentioned this in multiple videos. Uh, it is just a physical damage which has happened on the screen because of which you see this uh, green patch here. Now, uh, let me open the first option here, Samsung My Files. You see the version number here is 15.0.04.5. Uh, just tap on this download option. Let's close this ad. As you scroll down, you will see this download option right here again. Just tap on this. It will take you to this page. Now here you will be able to download the application. You see we have got download APK option. Just tap on download. You will see this pop-up which asks you whether you want to download this file. This type of file may harm your phone. Only download this file if you trust its source. So APK Mirror is a website which we can trust uh, to a good extent. I have downloaded multiple APKs from this website uh, and I've been using it since long. So I trust this website so we can go ahead and download the APK here. Now when I tap on download, it will start the download instantly. You can just tap on open file once it is downloaded. Uh, again, you'll have to give some security permissions here. It says for your security, your phone currently isn't allowed to install unknown applications from this source you can change this in settings let me tap on settings here and allow the permission here but if you have turned on the auto blocker feature on your phone you will not be able to allow this permission so let's first uh, disable the auto blocker here let me just search auto blocker this is under security and privacy now here let me just uh, disable the auto blocker feature let me turn it off and now let me just go to the my files application uh, we have got this apk which i just downloaded let me open that the moment you hit open you will see uh, an option a pop-up which asks you to update the existing application so this is not reinstalling the official app on the phone it will ask you to update the existing app so let me just tap on update you see now the latest version of my files app has been installed i'll tap on done now let's see the latest version here you see the latest version is 15.0.04.5. Now we will have to go to the My Files app, tap on the three dot button here on the top, go to the settings. And here by default, you will not see My Files Labs option. So what you need to do is tap on About My Files, tap on My Files multiple times here. You see Enable My Files Labs. Now once it is enabled, you can just go back. If you still don't see My, uh, My Files Labs here, just close the application and reopen it you should be able to see my files option under settings. You see, we've got my files labs right here. Just open it to see all these brand new uh, features 
on the application which is going to be really useful that's all i wanted to share with you guys let me know whether you have already tried this have you enabled my files lab uh, drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video interesting and yeah if you're interested in the wallpaper like i mentioned in the beginning you can go ahead and download this wallpaper on the s23 ultra and the one which is there on the s22 ultra uh, you will uh, you will be able to download it from the description thanks for watching my name is salian signing off you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye